lot of onions. I eat them raw. I like the flavor even though it lingers and might make my breath obliterate most conversations. I know the force of a raw onion is not for everybody, but the taste of one is the taste of the type of woman I actually want to be. Someone strong, sharp, incendiary. I get off on the possibility of reducing you to the vulnerable mess you try to repress, bringing you to your bloody knees with your emotional needs bubbling to the surface. I want to dress up in onion skin and wear its musk under each and every one of my layers, even though that might be offensive to some of your senses, especially when you cut into the core of me. And if you haven't left already, you're left offering me breath mints, trying to cover up the unacceptable without ever fully listening. People can't seem to endure a little pain before getting to the present, giving up without giving hard things a chance and forgetting for a second that onions also prevent against sickness, boost immune systems, and heal infections. I think it's healthy to want to cleanse my palate, my spirit, my soul, trying to get down deep to the dirt of it all and let nature's greatest heal whatever is ailing me, even if it comes from the alien family and even if it might rid me of certain company. Well, so be it. I'd rather use hard to ignore tear gas honesty than pretend I'm always sweet, never calling out the truth when the truth I see is the one thing separating humanity from impeccability. I chop a lot of onions. I can't make a meal without them. Call me obsessive or just call me Italian because I like being caught off guard by how sudden they are. <laughs> how sudden they are. I think each time I can get away without the acid that they spit out, but you would rather not feel that feeling of being out of control so you'd avoid that stinging sensation that just won't leave you alone, I get it. But for me, tears already fall naturally. I'm a proud and typical Pisces, no stranger to heightened emotionality, but I also happen to believe that the only way an onion won't make you cry is if you don't need to release anything. Imagine if every time an onion brought tears to your eyes, tiny demons were using your tear ducts as water slides trying to vacate your body, help you live more freely. Don't hold them in because they want to leave. Can't we just let an onion do its job? Well, I'm blocking us where we're otherwise blocked. And I know it's true that sometimes a terrible stench can accompany the purified, but hey, inner demons being exercised smells like death because something is actually dying. And if after death comes rebirth, then sign me right up. Screw social norms. I know feeling my feelings is not a flaw. I eat a lot of onions. I eat them raw. Thank you.